Hello, this is a brief discussion on the three main types of volcanoes. The largest of the three main are shield volcanoes. The shape of a shield volcano has quite a broad summit, pretty flat. The flanks are gently sloping for a mountain, usually on the average of one to 10 degrees. And you can see that shape here. They were initially uh, uh, identified based because they kind of look like a warrior's shield. The composition of shield volcanoes is mafic basaltic, and so that allows them to form at higher temperatures. When magma forms at higher temperatures, it tends to be more non-viscous, more fluid, this allows gases to escape much more easily, and you have fairly quiet eruptions. You can have extensive lava flows, but they're not uh, catastrophic where you have massive pyroclastic flows and things like that. Next up, we have composite volcanoes. Composite volcanoes have two distinct slopes. Near the summit, the slope is quite steep, and as you get down towards the base, it becomes more gradual. And you can see that here. It's very steep at the summit. You get down towards the base and you can see that it breaks and becomes more gradual. Composite volcanoes have an intermediate and acidic composition, so they have a higher felsic content. That higher felsic content makes the magma more viscous. Gases don't escape as easily, and you have the potential for explosive eruptions, pyroclastic flows, a lot of death and destruction with these type of eruptions. <coughs> Excuse me. Here you have this image. This is a volcanic neck. It's a stack. It kind of sticks up out of the ground, and what it actually is, it's the solidified conduit of an eroded volcano. So you had at one time, you had a full volcano here, active. Uh, various eruptions probably occurred throughout its life. The magma is stuck in the conduit. The volcano becomes extinct. It erodes away and you're left with this spire. Uh, Shiprock is a classic example of this. One of the questions in your assignment that was a volcanic neck. Truly fascinating things. The smallest of the three types of volcanoes is a cinder cone. Cinder cone has a very steep slope. It is very constant. There's no break in the slope on either side. Uh, they can get up to 40 degrees of slope. Pretty steep, very difficult to climb up if you ever get the chance. The summit is usually beveled. As you can see here, I'll take this back off, this red line. You can see that one side of the volcano summit is higher than the other. And this indicates wind direction. This is where the smaller material gets picked up and deposited on the higher side. So you're able to determine the prevailing wind direction. A characteristic of a cinder cone is that there's a lava flow along its base. Cinder cones do not, they're not built, uh, constructed, where they can contain the magma in the conduit. They're loose cinders, and so the magma escapes along the base. And you can see that here in this aerial photograph of an SP crater. Looks a little bit like an oil slick. So I hope this helps you in determining the three main types of volcanoes, some of the uh, characteristics of their eruptions, and, and uh, go forth.